right guys okay welcome back to another video okay so today in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to do the custom night technically the game is completely finished it's completely playable completely beatable um all we need to do now is just add the extras and custom night which is going to be this video okay so stay tuned so what we're going to want to do is first you're going to go into the three nights at whatever your name uh, your name is so we're going to do this right and then you're going to make a star or something to show that they beat the game i'm actually just going to make it a circle and I'll put it right next to the three Okay, you want to do that in a different costume, okay? You're going to duplicate the costume and do that, okay? So you're going to make a new uh, a new thing, like a uh, a new uh, when I receive home screen, and you're going to put if else, okay? You're going to put in if else, not just an if, an if else, and you're going to get an equals, and you're going to put a knight inside that equals. So the variable knight, you're going to do if knight equals four, then looks, switch costume to costume two else switch costume to costume one so when we do this like the the, the dots not going to be there but once we beat this knight right here then we're going to be complete also from the last video don't forget to change your knight like back to 60 like the time in the time variable don't forget to change this back to 60 i'm gonna keep it at five though so we can beat this and unlock custom knight when we're done with it okay now we're gonna make a we're gonna duplicate the continue variable um actually no we're gonna duplicate the new game variable now that we have the new game variable and it's duplicated, we're going to do, when I receive home screen, um, we're going to first disconnect the when this spread is clicked, and we're going to grab it, and uh, find a spot for your custom knight to go. Uh, I actually need to rearrange some stuff, um, so let me do that real quick. Alright, up there, that should be good. Okay, and then continue, I'm also going to rearrange this. Don't forget to plug your things back in once they're rearranged. Uh, continue still needs to be rearranged though, so we're just going to do that uh, right there. That looks good. So they don't, they do, but I mean, no one's going to notice. Okay, so once we have that done, just put the new game right there, but it's not going to be a new game. It's going to be custom night, obviously. So we're going to do that. We're going to call it custom night. We're going to do when this flag is clicked, or the sprite is clicked, hide, and broadcast new message. Custom night. Okay. Nice. Um, but we're gonna put when in this receive home screen, we're gonna put this. Okay, we're gonna put this. We're gonna put if else. And you're basically gonna copy the same thing you did for the title, except instead of putting a uh, switch costume to costume two, but you're gonna put a show. So we're gonna do if night equals four, then looks show else hide. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it where the custom night actually is going to work, okay? So once we have this, um, once this is done, uh, all we need to do is make the custom night menu and also change the uh, the art for it. So, so instead of new game, custom night. Just like that. Uh, move this a little right here. And just... I forgot to unplug it. Okay, just do that. Put that right there. All right, perfect. So we're gonna do that, and then you're gonna go into the everything else that's on the load loading screen right now. So you're gonna duplicate the when I receive newspaper hide, except you're gonna put custom night instead of newspaper, and you're also gonna do that for the everything on the menu that you can see currently. Um, and what this is gonna do is whenever you open up the custom night menu, everything else is gonna hide, so you won't be able to see it, which is obviously what you need. If I'm correct, so when I receive custom night hide, and I don't think this one has a when I receive newspaper hide, so I'm actually gonna put that in here too. Actually, no, this is the one that broadcasts newspaper. Oh my god. Okay, and we're gonna do that here too. When I receive custom night hide, uh, put that in the jump scares one as well, and we should be complete. When I receive custom night, uh, custom night hide. Um. Is this one of a newspaper? It does. Okay, perfect. So there we go. We have all the things done. So we need to make the menu for custom night, which is just going to be uh, the art for the background, which I will do right now. Uh, I'll cut back when I'm done.
Okay, um, so once we have the art, we're just going to import the characters in, and that's basically all we need to do. So we're going to copy him, put him right here, and this is going to show who they're actually customizing. So put it right here. There's the first character, character two, copy, and paste. Just like that. Smaller. A little smaller. Okay. And then we need to get our third character, which is the orange one. And we're just going to put that right on the right side. Okay, perfect. Uh, make them a little smaller. Okay, perfect. So there we go. We have our three characters right here, and they're all in line. So what we're going to do is when green flag clicked, looks hide when I receive custom night when I receive custom night when I receive custom night looks show okay and then we're also gonna make it so you can customize them show and then show variable show variable link O link and plink and then you're just gonna put these where they go so a link goes right here and then you're gonna want to put it in the slider format if you don't know how to change the format you have to double click it so we're just gonna put it in the slider format and then you're gonna have to customize the slider if you want you can make buttons that's a little more complicated uh, and harder to do so I just like using sliders so you're gonna change the slider and you're gonna change the slider range from 1 to 10. 1 is going to be the hardest and disable uh, and 10 is going to be disabled. So make sure you put that somewhere so people know that 1's the hardest and 10 is disabled, okay? Make sure you do that. And um and once we're done with this, this should be custom night basically complete and uh yeah, it's not as complicated as it may seem. So we're gonna do when green flag clicked. We also have to hide the variable. The we have to, we also have to hide the variables. So we're gonna hide variable plink, hide variable o link, hide variable link. So once we do this, we should have all the variables done. And um, there we go. We have custom night done. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let me check the AI real quick. Um, yeah, 10 is the disabling version. So we're actually gonna go on the custom night menu. We're gonna put right here on the very bottom one is disabled or one is the hardest one is hard 10 is disabled there we go and we're just gonna make the color uh white okay and make sure you don't have to make this exactly how i'm doing it but just make sure you have this here so people know that one is the hardest version and 10 is disabled um so basically from here from here you have your custom night done all you need to do is make a start button so paint and just call it custom night start okay and you're gonna copy the stuff from continue into here so let me just do that right now so you're gonna copy this big script to the big script when uh green flag clicked oh no don't switch costume tonight so hide custom night put that but we're just going to switch that to hide and start night uh wherever it is uh we're just going to have to change stuff up later okay and we should have it complete okay so we have all this all the sprites and stuff all the scripts so let me just show them out okay custom night looks show when this sprite is pressed and the spread is clicked broadcast start night start night or show night and then when the spread is clicked broadcast show night broadcast show night and then hide and there we go we have custom night completely done uh so i'm gonna start this but right back up and I'm actually going to change um, how long the time goes 
and I'm going to make it shorter so that way this goes back quicker and I can show you. So I'm actually going to make it one second, so each night is six seconds. So new game, two, three, four, five, there we go, light down, continue, two, three, four, five, six, done, continue, three, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, there we go, and look, the dot is here, and it's custom night, so I'm actually going to turn on custom night and make sure everything works, put link out 10, and put everyone else at 1, um, but no, put link at 1 and everyone else at 10, the start didn't show, or it did show, but it's not at front, so we're going to have to put, go to front layer, go to front layer, Um, I didn't make a costume for it, so you're just going to want to make like a nice little box or something and then put start inside of it, so that's what I'm going to do real quick, box, thinner, uh, thinner, okay, and then just get text, white, start, okay, so just to make sure this works, I'll put link at 1 and everyone else at 10, which means link is going to be the only one active. So let's check, but first I'm actually going to put that right there. Okay, so now we're going to go back in here and we're going to press start. When I receive show night. Show night. When I receive show night, where is show night? Show night, hide, and then hide all the variables. There we go. Night four, which is the custom night, and we're in. Uh, I forgot to slow down the time to see if it worked. Um, so, but it still should be right here because nothing changed. So we're just gonna change the time back to the normal time now, since basically the game is complete. Um, you can add extras by copying the custom night menu, except putting all the extras you want in it. So, there we go. We're just going to start it up and see if it works. So, everyone's still here. So far, no changes, which is weird. Um... There we go. Okay, perfect. I thought I messed up the script, but no. He's the only one moving now. And, yeah. Thanks to our movement scripts, um, he can actually show up with other people, too. So, there we go. Um, game is done. Uh, if you want anything else, um, make sure to let me know, because I can do way more games. I can do way more genres. Um, and if you want to know, like, what, how far you can go with this Scratch, like scratch um five nights at freddy's games uh here let me just show one i made right here okay i made this one um kind of proud of it but yeah you can go pretty far with these games trust me uh they're pretty powerful this game this one right here has like music uh there's a settings menu right here you can change the volume um, if you want to know how to do that, then if you want to know how to do FES, uh, I can show you. So look, it says, you can do so much more with this, like hide and show, which basically is like the same as the mask, the mask, and then cameras. There's also this mechanic, uh, like the puppet. Um, let me show you how that's done real quick. It's the same thing as the flash, except um, the flash button would be like, it only shows up when you press that certain cam. And then when the sprite is pressed, you do reset, and then you put reset the character you're trying to reset. So basically, that's how you would do that one. Um, so if you want any more tutorials on how to make games, I will show you them. Uh, so make sure to like and subscribe, because this was a fun game to make. And I can make many more for you guys. See you guys later.